extremely useful PK plugins part 3. It's time to reveal the last of our secrets. Let's get into it. Now the first Runelight plugin that we're going to be going over is called Menu Entry Swapper. And what this does is not only improve your quality of life whenever you're re-gearing or banking, but as well as it could help you in your PKing as well. From here, you'll want to go into the Item Swaps Collapsible tab, and then from there, you're going to want to put Customizable Left Click and Shift Click. Now from here, what you're going to want to do is hold Shift and then right click on your item, whatever item you're going to want to use. And you're going to need to do it for each and every individual item you're going to want to use inside your bank. And from there, you're going to want to go to Swap Shift Clicked. And from here, it'll say E, Use, or whatever the option may be. Now from the bank, instead of grabbing an extended anti-fire, closing it, and then drinking, and or grabbing it and then right clicking, and then pressing drink, instead you can go to hold shift click, right click, go to swap shift click, and then you're going to want to make that the drink option. So from the bank, without right clicking or without closing your, your bank tab, you're able to just shift click and drink. Now you can do this with, again, any items you want. So instead of going into the top corner, I just hold shift click and there, and that's how I change my items, allowing us to simply shift click and then we are basically re-geared. Another tip that you may want to use when banking is going over to the search function and then putting either a plus or a minus symbol and putting whatever amount of gold you want. So if I want items under 100K, this is shows up all the items that are under 100K throughout my tabs. Now, if we did it the opposite way, items over 100K, this shows all of our stacks and whatnot of items that are over 100K. As you can see, most of our value is in supplies rather than physical items. Another tip that I like to use when chasing opponent is to scroll out in my minimap. This allows me to click as far as I can and while we're running, we can simply do as many switches and snares as we need to and getting ready to snare our opponent. Instead of simply clicking over here, switching, clicking over there, and continuing. This zoom in or zoom out feature can be reset by simply right clicking on your minimap. Before we move on, I'd love to know if any of these tips have helped out thus far. Now let's go over an extremely useful tip for both pures and other restricted accounts. This is called attack styles and from here you decide which skills are going to be hidden and in this case I'm hiding attack and defense because I'm only 300 XP from a defense level, which I don't want. We clearly have that hidden right here. And another thing I'm going to want to do is hide auto retaliate because when do I ever use auto retaliate? Basically never. And then once you have everything checked off, you're going to want to press Removed Worn Styles. And then this is what will happen. Now, as you may have noticed, we personally don't play on Fixed Classic as most people and PKers do. I personally think this is a very ugly and unfun way to play because it really diminishes your gaming and immersiveness to this tiny box. I prefer to play on Resizable Classic Layout. And with this, this not only gives you the options of hiding your chat and opening your box even more, but you can make your inventory transparent to further immerse yourself within the game. Now when resizing, you're going to want to go to stretched mode up in the top right. And from here, I just recently clicked increase performance mode because that sounded like something I wanted to do. But these are my settings. And if you don't have these settings slash stretch mode on, you might have a stretched client, but a very tiny inventory UI and other stuff. Another honorable mention would be resizable modern layout. And this is interesting because it groups both your, your HP and your prayer bar together as compared to the classic layout where it's more of a visually appealing look. Now, if there were any other plugins that you saw and we didn't go over, that's likely because they're located in these videos over here.